Good afternoon, colleagues. Um, I'm pleased to be able to show you this today. The idea came from Selena Kobos, our wonderful colleague over at Puentes Middle School. She had the idea. She asked me to test it out. Uh, I'm Shore Noe. If you don't know me, if you're new to the district, uh, people just call me Noe. I'm over at Sunridge Middle School. I'm wearing my Spartan shirt today, Pebble Hills, go Spartans. So uh, the question was, how could we create a face mask for the clarinet when we have these finger holes to deal with, right? Um, you know, the brass, there were plenty of, plenty of solutions, but for the clarinet, there was an issue here because we had to deal with the air escaping out of the finger holes as well. And her, Selena's suggestion was to use a knee high because you could get knee highs from Walmart pretty cheap and that would be the way to do it. She'd even kind of sort of tested it herself, but without actually playing the instrument. And I did test that out. The issue with the knee high was, is the knee high itself only went up to about this point on the clarinet, and then you would have to stretch it pretty tight to get it all the way up to the rest of the way. And that tension would cause the rest of the, the knee high to pull tight over uh, the keys. And so you'd get slight pressure on all the little pinky keys and side keys, and you'd have leaks. It would play okay and then suddenly start squeaking. It was very, very unreliable. However, I did find a different solution. So um, because it sort of worked, but it didn't work optimally, I went out looking and I found this solution, thigh highs. Uh, got these off of Amazon. There's six thigh highs in here and they were $10. Not as cheap as the Walmart ones. The Walmart ones, they were like um, six knee highs and it was like $3 but these are still pretty cheap. Got these off of Amazon. You can also find them um, different brands and probably some Asian brands like on uh, AliExpress and, and eBay as well. So the thigh high has just enough extra length to where um, it's not creating pressure on the keys. You're not having to stretch it super tight over uh, all the keys of the clarinet. And granted, it's a little bit more expensive, so it was ten dollars for six knee highs, uh, thigh highs here. So they're like a dollar seventy a piece. But you know, if we get back to the classroom and get playing in the classroom again, you know, it's, it's nice to have something, right? So you see that that you just need a tiny bit of tension here at the top, but it's not enough tension. It's still pretty slack down here, and you need that. And I just tie it off with a liga, because those of you who've been around for a long time remember that I used to have a lot of these. Feels like a long time ago, huh? So, yeah, so I just tie it off right where the barrel meets the top joint. And uh, having to tie it off like that, that's why I don't have the mouthpiece on there. I just, the mouthpiece just kind of makes that a little bit untenable. You do have to kind of feel around for the keys a little bit at first. And you have to use just the slightest bit more pressure uh, to cover the holes. But again, it's not untenable, but you don't have the le leaks as an issue at all. Now, sometimes in transition and faster passages, it does kind of hang up a little bit, but it doesn't squeak. So, um, but it's a solution. It's something for when you're playing in uh, an ensemble. It's, it's not perfect. And it, obviously it's not as effective as an N95 ma mask, but that was never gonna be uh, a tenable solution either. So we have this now. Um, and so if we get to a point, hopefully this year where we get to come back to the band room, have the kids 10 feet apart or whatever, we do have a way to help reduce the amount of uh, excess air that's flowing out of the body and into the instrument and then into the general atmosphere. So once again, thank you to Selena Kobos for coming up with the idea. And now you have this um, one thing to look out for, depending on where you get them. These might get a little extra frilly. Those of you who know some things about pantyhose, can you cut this off without it falling apart? I don't know. You know, nail polish or something, right? Uh, uh, but solutions. So yay for finding solutions. Uh, good luck and hope your year turns out okay.